As we witness the emergency unfolding in ICUs across this country tonight, a record new for hospitalizations, more than 110,000 Americans in the hospital right now battling this virus. Deaths now soaring above 300,000. We're losing an average of 2,400 Americans every day now to this virus. 50 Americans lost every 30 minutes or so. Hospital ICUs, of course, are the epicenter of this battle. Thousands of the nation's hospitals running critically low on beds. Tonight, California, for one, activating what's being called a mass fatality program. A morgue truck behind this hospital in Whittier. They have put 60 more of these trucks on standby. And some ICU nurses have now been told they are in, quote, disaster mode. We will carefully guide you through this new report tonight from the FDA on the second potential vaccine and, of course, the emergency they're now seeing in hospitals across this country. We begin here with ABC's chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, leading us off. Tonight, that ominous sign, 60 morgue trucks ordered on standby in California. The state activating its mass fatality program, 5,000 body bags ordered. Over the past 24 hours, at least 142 deaths. We're going through perhaps the most intense and urgent moment since the beginning of this pandemic. Hospitals across the state now being overrun. L.A. County, with a population of 10 million, now has fewer than 100 ICU beds available. The number of Americans in the hospital right now fighting COVID surpassing 110,000, record for nine straight days. 14, 16, At Providence St. Joseph Medical Center in Burbank, COVID nurses are huddling before a shift. I want you guys to all shift your mindsets to disaster mode. A call being repeated across the country with nearly one third of all hospitals saying their ICUs are 80 percent full. ICU nurse Jocelyn Schmaith has volunteered to work the COVID unit every shift for the past nine months. I can tell you the last three days here on this unit has been rough. We've emergently intubated two or three patients up here. We've, um, I'm talking about, you know, comfort measures. Yet in nearby Newport Beach, they're protesting lockdowns. This despite that Thanksgiving surge, a record 213,000 cases a day across the country. In New York, the mayor saying a full shutdown may come after Christmas. I don't say it with anything but sorrow, but I do think it's needed. Tonight, deaths are spiraling. The U.S. averaging more than 2,400 a day. The seven-day average increasing by nearly 70%. The Heim family is welcoming their father, John, back from the hospital, but it's a moment tinged with tragedy. Joyce, his wife of 58 years, also had COVID and she died. I don't want anybody else to go through what we've gone through. It's awful. John now admits he didn't take the virus as seriously as he should have. I think there have been points when I didn't think it was as serious as it is. Obviously, I have a different opinion now. We've heard that from so many patients. We're glad he's getting better tonight. And let's get to Matt, who's with us live from Burbank, California. And Matt, as part of that mass fatality program announced today, the governor in California is now asking uh, for help tonight from the Department of Defense. He's asking for 200 medical personnel from the Department of Defense, David. That as that mass fatality program that we talked about. This is the first time it's being enacted and activated statewide. It was designed with plane crashes or earthquakes or terrorist attacks in mind not a virus. And as for what it's like in those hospitals, one CEO in El Central California telling me today 80% of the patients in that hospital are COVID positive. That is unheard of. He said it's like drinking from a fire hose. David. All right, Matt Gutman leading us off tonight. Matt, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.